Hey, I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, LG and Samsung go toe-to-toe -to -toe with huge and curvy 4K TVs, Google Glass gets another competitor, and let's take a drive in a car made from Lego bricks. No, seriously, we're going. CES 2014 is right around the corner, and we're already getting a sneak peek at what's going to be at the giant electronics show. Yesterday, LG first broke news that it would be toting this to Vegas this year, a 105-inch curved cinema-wide 4K TV. Not to be outdone, Samsung soon answered, saying that it was also bringing one, adding that its TV is more curved. We've only got a couple of photos of these beasts so far, but we can tell you that they pack 11 million pixels into a 21 by 9 ultra-wide aspect ratio rather than the more common 16 by 9 shape that we see now. Price? No dice. We'll have to wait for CES to find out, but we bet on spendy. Google Glass gets all the attention when it comes to geeky techno eyewear, but they're not the only players in the game. Take a look at this video for the Athir One, which is currently in development. These specs look like sporty sunglasses and combine two internal HD screens along with two HD cameras. Athir says the glasses link with an Android phone to enable gesture recognition, augmented reality, and much more. The video is pretty enthralling, but I'm not sure how many users are going to want to wear sunglasses indoors, at night, except maybe this guy. But those are minor complaints if they're that cool, right? Athir is hoping to ship units to their many Indiegogo backers in Q4 of 2014. And finally, if you're having a tough time coming up with a monthly car payment, you can always do what these guys did and build your own ride out of Lego bricks. That's right, it's an actual life-size working car made of Legos. Also, it runs on compressed air. It's not going to win any races, of course, but who cares? This jalopy is off the charts awesome, and it only took a half a million Legos to create. The project was crowdfunded and comes on the heels of a YouTube hit the duo had last year when they sent a Lego shuttle to the edge of space in a tribute to the end of the NASA shuttle program. Hopefully a Lego airplane is in the works, but we'll watch that test flight from the ground. Thank you very much. And that's DT Daily for Friday. Have a great weekend.